Question number one of the ID Passport exam from Philnitz. In this question, we are being asked which of the following is the decimal number that is represented by the sequence of squares that we have here. The way to solve this is to understand how we got the number 2, number 5, the number 10, and the number 21 based on the sequence of squares on its right. Each of the squares could have either a black or a white. And the way to understand how we can solve this is to look at the squares as a sequence. Um, just like with the handwritten note that I have here, if we put them in a certain way, like this, we can find out how we got to, how we got 5, how we got 10, and so forth. If we had only black or white and a series of squares. For example, if we start off with the rightmost, this one could hold a 1 or a 0. And in that way, we can get the value, the decimal value, 1 or 0. Now, if we want to get the decimal value of 2, we need to add one more column, one more square to its left. And if it is 1, then we get 2 as the decimal value. Of course, um, if we want to get 3, we need to put the, the, first, uh, the first square on the rightmost to 1, 2. So in that way, we have... Um, 1 plus 2 to get 3. If we want to get 5, we got to add one more square, one more column to the, the left of the second column. So in this way, we add a 1 for the third column. The second column will leave it as 0. And then for the first column, we put it as 1. Because 1 plus 4 gives us 5. If we were to put 1 for the second column as well, we would have to get 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is not 5. Now, once we understand this idea, how we can arrive at the decimal value from a set of squares that either have, um, that have either black or white, we can now look into the final, the final sequence that is being asked us. And um, from there, we can find out what would be the decimal number. Here, I put here the series of squares, which have either black or white. And for those that have the black square, we put the value 1. We have a total of 5 squares here. So each of the squares is represented here like so. And because the first 3 columns are, are white, which means they are 0, and the succeeding ones are the only ones that have value of 1, then we put the ones like this. Therefore, if we continue on with the binary system where you have ones or zeros in a, in a sequence, then that would be 8 and 16. And so when we add 8 and 16, what we get would be 24. 24 is actually... Uh, the correct answer, but we need to know which letter has the value 24, has the decimal number 24. And from among the choices, we find that it's letter C.